This is CBS 5 News, telling it like it is. It is a wet start to our morning here this morning. CBS 5 News is brought to you by your Valley Honda dealers. You're starting smart with the best conversation in the Valley. CBS 5 Morning News. Welcome back. Time now is 623. And, you know, bullying is a problem every school has just been struggling to find a solution for. And this morning we've got a great story from Queen Creek High School. So say good morning to uh, sophomore Shy Johnson, senior Carson Jones, and then we've also got on the end here Dan Burke from Get Air Conditioning, a local company that's recognized the great things that are happening at Queen Creek High School and has a very special reward coming up for them this weekend. So, Carson, tell us, tell us about your story for folks who are just hearing it for the first time this morning. Okay. Um... Yeah, Shai's mom. We've been family friends for a few years, yeah. and um, yeah, she uh, emailed me on Facebook and told me that uh, Shai was being bullied by kids in her class. Like kids were throwing trash at her and calling her names and stuff. And um, yeah, and she was sitting alone at lunch with one of her friends, and we invited them to sit with us at lunch, just like because we knew she was getting bullied and like probably just to help her out if she sat with us. Yeah, and, and Shai, um, Shai, you were diagnosed with a, a brain disorder called microcephaly, but yes. when, when students at campus, they would do mean things to you, um, that didn't make you feel good. No, um, they get me mad. Yeah, and that was hard to deal with, but when your mom called up Carson, Carson, you didn't just say, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to help her out. You guys uh, decided we're going to walk her to and from class, have lunch with her, things like that, and that made a difference. What, what did you notice from other kids on campus who had been tormenting Shy? Um, yeah, I th we thought that would be like the better solution instead of um, just like talking to the kids that are bullying her. You know, that way everyone can see that like we're all friends with Shy and she's actually fun to be around and you know, like there's no reason to there's no reason to bully her and you're giggling yeah. they stick up for you now huh yes and what about those other kids who used to tease you um are they friendly to you now yes it's it's much better now it's much better now and now you have a lot more cir a bigger circle of friends right yes this is pretty cool. Carson, you've done a great thing. And um, Dan over here on the end from Gettle, you guys have been in uh, the Valley for more than 70 years. Right. You heard about this great story. So what have you decided to do to pay it forward to uh, recognize and reward these students? Well, um, in this particular case with these young people that really picked a very good way to deal with this, which probably uh, was um, helped the people that were actually doing the bullying by yeah. seeing it a good example. And uh, so we've asked uh, some of the uh, team and, and Carson and Shai and her parents to uh, be our guests at our loft at the Cardinals game uh, this weekend uh, against Detroit. Wow! And, and I'll be there to, to be their host. And uh, we're going to have a lot of fun. Taking them out to a Cardinals game, and I asked Carson, have you ever been to a Cardinals football <laughs> game before? Uh, no. Any pro football game before? No. Okay, and he's the star quarterback for the football team at Queen Creek. So this is going to be a real trip for you to go out there with your team, your coach, and Shai's family as well to kind of celebrate this right. act of kindness. Oh, yeah, I'm excited. It'll be fun. <laughs> okay, so you're a graduating senior. Mm -hmm. uh, are you going to, uh, what are you going to do next? Um, next year, I'll serve my mission for my church yeah. uh, for two years, and then I'll go to college and hopefully try and play football somewhere. Carson, so. your act of kindness has not gone unnoticed, and along with the other football players on the team who've stepped up and done such a simple act of kindness, it's made the, all the difference in the world for Shy. Thank you guys for waking up live with us this morning. We really appreciate it, and Dan and Gettle, uh, kudos to your team for, you. uh, for recognizing them and rewarding them in such a great way. Thank you. We're happy to do it. Don't you just love this story, Paul? Nicole, unbelievable. Thank you guys so much for sharing it with us here this morning. Here's a lot.